morning, good morning, good afternoon. It is afternoon, it's noon. Um, it's time to throw down another Wednesday workout. Um, and the kids are settling out here. Um, so it's time to throw down another Wednesday workout. And we've got some strength focus today. So I want you to uh, slow the pace down, dial things in, load things up as you're able to, and get strong, get better. So um, that's to come, let's get warmed up and we will go from there. So shaking out these shoulders. It's always gonna be a total body workout, pushing, pulling, lower body, some core. We'll get a little finisher at the end and all will be well, all will be right. Small circles and start, and then you get a bigger, bigger, bigger as you go. Nice and done. Just when I think one of these Wednesday workouts can't get any hotter. Smoking today, I think we're supposed to hit 100. It's toasty, toasty. And I'm not a hot, I always say I'm not a warm weather person, but I'm coming to accept that summertime is going to be hot, wintertime is going to be cold. It'll be a little mix in between, some pleasant weather, but hey, it's better for us. Good for us. We'll be better for it, and all will be good. So, um, no specific weight uh, equipment you need today. Uh, so, it's a uh, torso twist. Let's see, it's time to get out. Take this stuff out. Torso twist, let the upper body flow, relax. You're letting all the heat in, guys. Good, good, good. Let's go. Bent over. Hamstrings lengthen, knees are soft, arms are hanging, pull the shoulders back, open the arms up, <clears throat> drop the arms, drop the shoulders. Keep that, we're just looking for flowing and good movement out of these shoulders. We're gonna need some of this today with second exercise. Good, let's go. With a cherry picker, reach standing tall, breaking, hinging at the hips, reaching the forward, middle, back, kind of bouncing, flowing through that, stand tall. Front, middle, back. We're just flowing through these hips and hamstrings. Pretty good. Nicely done. Yeah, let's shift a little bit. We're gonna go single leg to toe touch. Okay, balance on one leg, coming down. Touch the ground, touch your toe. Get down as far as you can. Find your balance, lift that foot up, warm it up. Ankle and calf, we're activating some muscles there. Okay, this will be a, an exercise, an actual exercise. I'll break down a little more here in a minute. And switch legs. The first part of this warm up is mobility and activation. We want to activate muscles, wake them up, get them ready for the movement. Work on mobility, make sure we're working through a smooth, smooth range of motion. Okay, one more. Okay, let's work through some lower body knee hugs. Grabbing a knee, hugging tight, walking through that. Good. That's nice. Let's go leg cradles. Grabbing just hug the ankle. And falling, rotating through that leg and hip. Uh, a couple more. Let's shift to a quad stretch, grabbing, if you can, the opposite foot, arm and foot, pull into a stretch, reach up overhead with stretched arm and the arm of the leg is stretching. And we've got that, we've got this quad stretching, hip stretching, and then we reach through your core and your psoas, getting a little bit more of a stretch in there. 
Good job, good job. Um, okay, let's work through our ground series. We'll get a little more shoulders, a little bit into the hips. Down on the ground, hands in the shoulders, knees under hips. Scapular push-up, you're doing a push-up with only your shoulder blades. Sliding down, pushing apart. Sliding down, pushing apart. Okay, elbows are locked out. Shoulders and shoulder blades are sliding. Nice and smooth. Good, now let's sit back towards the hips. Arms are straight. Rotate in towards the opposite shoulder and knee, shoulder towards the knee. Open up, reach, reach, reach. We're looking for good motion and movement and mobility. Through this upper back and T-spine, we're activating chest, shoulders, back, core. Good. All right, come out of it, switch it up. Come back in. Good more. Okay, let's work through these hips. And plank out, high plank, hands on the shoulders, up on your toes, step behind wide, as high as you can. Let's floss these hips a little bit. Shift back into the hamstring. Come forward and floss. Back to the hamstring, on floss. Good. One more. Switch it up. In between, I like to walk through my caps a little bit, wake them up. Not holding anything. We haven't held, it, held anything static stretching. A little fun fact static stretching before you work out, before you go to perform and work hard. Static stretching actually reduces performance. It's been shown through studies many times. Cross to the hips, shift back to the hamstrings. So we're doing a dynamic warm up, and we want to get things flowing. As I mentioned earlier, flowing, activating muscles, working through good clean mobility, and if you're able to feel better. Now, if we do have some specific thing you want to stretch out. I would warm things up dynamically first and then do a little static stretching in a specific area, but trying to minimize that holding, waiting, 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 stretching kind of stuff. All right, that's uh, our dynamic warm up. We'll get a little bit more in a minute, but let's break down the workout. We've got uh, 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of transit of rest, of transition between exercises. Then we'll rest 30 seconds after we hit run through the five. And then uh, we'll go through that whole cycle five times. So let's start. We're we'll starting on the ground. We're going with a push up. Um, oftentimes, I like push ups on your toes, on your feet, so we'll elevate them. Today, we're just going to go down to the ground. If you're on your toes, great. If you're on your knees, great. But I want to make sure your core is straight and strong. Head, shoulders, hips, knees in the line. If you're modifying this, come up on your toes if you want to go full, full push up, okay? Um, from here, it's hard for me to correct right now, but I'm going to drop these elbows a little bit. So if I'm facing the ground, I'm facing you right now, but if I was on the ground, I don't want my arms super high and shoulders shrug. I want to drop these shoulders, drop the elbows. It's going to make a little harder push up, but it's going to be much healthier and more and safer for your shoulders. So if you not have a nagging shoulder injury, which I've had for off and on for a little while, my shoulder feels so much better when I drop my elbows than when I do when I'm up here. So. Um, just a, a little fun fact, try and get these shoulders down, elbows down, and into a little tighter push-up. You don't have to go super tight, but um, just have those shoulders not so high, not those elbows not so high. So head, shoulders, hips, knees, or knees and ankles uh, straight in the line. So we have good posture, good form. Don't want to see the back sagging. Don't want to see the butts in the, in the air. Don't want to see the head dropping. So keep everything straight, perfect, strong, tall plank. Down and up. Okay. You're a moving plank, so set that plank, fix the core, make sure we don't have that sag in the back. If you need to modify, modify. We're, um, baseline out here is just holding a plank, okay? So if you can't hold the quality plank for 50 seconds, then you're not gonna be able to do a clean push up for 50 seconds. So find uh, that balance where you're challenging yourself, but you're not losing form, you're able to build that strength and keep good form. Then we stay on the ground, we're just gonna drop onto our stomach. Next, we get a prone TWA. Prone means face down. 
your T, arms out to the side. I want to see thumbs pointed to the ceiling. And we're going to cycle through these, maybe round to round, maybe half and half. We'll see how things go. But a T, arms are, shoulder, arms are straight out to the side to a T. You want to lift these arms and shoulders, pulling the shoulders and shoulder blades back behind you and opening the chest and the shoulders in front. Okay, we're gonna get up, pause for two, three seconds, drop, come right back up. Okay, the W, we're gonna bring the hands in, palms are still pointed up, palms, our thumbs are still pointed up, palms facing you. Then we're gonna draw these shoulders back, it's just like we were, only a little different angle. We're gonna pull in, keep making sure these shoulders are away from your ears. Okay, we're gonna cycle through that. Then your A, we're gonna keep those. Now your palms are pointing away, your thumbs are still pointing up. I'm gonna lift through the chest and the shoulders, pull down towards my feet. And so I'm still drawing those shoulder blades back behind me, opening the shoulders up and pulling back behind me. And I wanna reach down away from my shoulder, my ears, my shoulders away from my ears. I'm gonna lift, reach down, relax, lift, reach down, relax. Okay, so that upper back should be lit up as you go through that. Next up, we've got two Romanian deadlift. You're going to take one leg, balance, stabilize. Okay, if you can do this barefoot, take those shoes off and be barefoot because you're going to help your foot do its job properly and not be cheated by a shoe and have that crutch. But pick a foot up, stabilize, let your foot find the floor, feel your heel on the ground, feel the uh, balls of your feet in the ground, let your toes spread out, and then we're going to hinge at the hips. Tap the ground, tap the toe. Um, you can load this up. You can load both arms or you can load the opposite arms. So if you have a dumbbell, some, a jug of water, um, something to load this arm up, um, you can do that. So load the opposite arm of the working leg or you can load both arms. Keep hip shoulders squared up to the ground and then stand back tall out of it. Okay, hinge down, down, down. Stand, 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 stand. Good, keep that head in line. And you can check your balance and tap that toe in between. And we switch legs for that fourth round. Lastly, we go back down to the ground. If you have, you have um, some weight here, this could be a dumbbell, kettlebell, uh, bag, a jug of water, uh, something. So you're holding um, a weight in your hand of some sort, additional weight, functional weight. Uh, so you're here. Okay, we're gonna open the knees up, crunch through, and then extend long. Okay, crunch in, extend long, crunch in and extend long. When we extend long, I want you to make sure you're not losing this core strength and integrity. So your core, your lower back should stay flat and almost flush to the ground, maybe a slight lifting, but we shouldn't be lifting that back in big, big arch. And okay? when we do that, our abs have given up, our hips have taken over, we're moving through our spine and not through our muscles and stabilizing through our core. So crunch and tight. So if we need to modify that, legs can come higher, your legs don't have to go out as far. That'll make things a little easier and help you dial this in and challenge yourself. Very good, that's the breakdown. You ready for more? You ready to get started? Before we do that, let's get heart rate up, blood flowing a little bit, and we'll get this, we'll get this started. So um, let's go 20 squats, squatting, standing. Good, good. We're crank, we're finishing up July today. Hopefully you're having a good summer, getting out, having fun, staying cool. Getting hot, a little bit of everything. I can't count and talk, so I'm gonna guess we're at 15. Good, let's go, so let's go jumping jack. We're gonna go 40 jacks. Half of them are regular, regular jacks, half of them sealed jacks. If we need to modify for impact, then we can tap out. So let's get it. Holding these calves up. Shaking these arms out. Good. Let's switch to seal jack. Good. 
Uh, what's next? Uh, let's go down. 10 easy push ups. We're not working out yet. So hold back a little bit. Try to get through a smooth range of motion. You can modify this by going an increased angle on a bench or a chair, a wall, and modifying to the knees. Good. Stretch, shake these arms out, make knees lats. And man, it's so hot, I'm kind of like, I want to just take. Postpone the inevitable. So I think we're ready to roll. Grab a drink, get yourself ready. All right, all right. We're recording, we're ready to go. Ready to go. All right. First up, we've got push ups. Let's do this. Core strong, ready for these push ups. Challenge yourself to start. You can always modify as you go through. So you're less likely to challenge yourself if you start light, start easy. You may say, oh, that's good enough. But you may have been able to do more. So challenge yourself, challenge, start with the hard part. Um, and go from there. So here we go. Warm up. And push up strong. Here, one. here, here. Exercise one. Strong and controlled. It's not a race. We want time and retention. We're taking our time. We want good quality form, good quality push ups. Ooh, it's gonna be a long 50 in this heat. That's halfway. Five strong seconds, you got it. Get another one. Three, two, one, rest. Good. All right, let's see. Pro TWA. Let's start with T's. We'll go switch to this at halfway. Start with T's. We'll move to W's. And we'll pick up from there next round. Lift and lift and shoulders are opening up in front, pull them together and back. Get a quick pause at the top. Keeping your head straight down, looking straight down. That's good, halfway. Good, good, good. Nicely done. It's almost there. Oh, I forgot to switch it out. We'll finish the tease out here. Well, the W's next round. Three, two, one. Good. Yep. Up on your feet. That single leg RDL. I'm going to grab a little weight for myself. Three, Here two, we go. One. Exercise. Take the leg to balance, to work. And hinging at the hips. Coming down. Find that stretching hamstring. Hamstrings and glutes get you back to the top. Okay. Control, control, control. Just a quick pause, stand tall. That's halfway. Good. We got this. Yep, yep, yep. Same leg the whole way through. You can feel your ankle and calves forming and burning, your feet doing some work. Good, hamstrings and glutes. Three, there we two, go. All right, rest. switch that now. All right, all right, Three, ready, ready. Two, one. And back to the hinge. Exercise one. 
Good. Get on. Uh, keep these hips level. Don't let them open up. Let's stay straight on, shoulders straight on. Reach down, find that stretch. Stand tall. That's halfway. Yeah. Getting there. Good. Slow pace today, but strong, controlled, quality. Three, two, one. Good. Rest. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. We go down to the ground. That core pump. Grab a little weight that can be done body weight. Three, if you've got something. Two, Bonus, Exercise use one. it and go. Crunch it in tight, extend out long. Crunch in tight, do long. Crunch, crunch, and out. Yeah. Good. Slow control, stick that end range of motion. Crunch in tight, tight. That's not long. Crunch tight, tight. Good. Awesome work. Keep it up. We get a break after this quick 30 seconds. All the way through now. You're almost there. Good job. Good job. Three, two, one. Rest. Uh-huh. You're good. There you go. All right. 30 seconds and we switch back to push-ups. So far, so good. All right, less than 10. Here we go, five, four. Let's finish this up. Let's finish this up. Here we go. Four. Exercise one. Down. Full quality clean push ups. Good. Awesome work. Yep, 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 yep. Keep breathing, keep fighting. Halfway. Almost 10 strong seconds, a couple more push-ups. Good, now we made W's, we're gonna go W. On your stomach, elbows just below your shoulders, hands just at head height, thumbs to the ceiling, palms facing in, lift the arms, keep shoulders away from the ears, draw the shoulder blades back together, drop. Lift, lift, pull, pull, pause, pause. Drop, lift, lift, good, good. Drop, lift, lift, good, good. Good. That's Keep going. Way. Drop, come right back up, pull, come into a pause. Pause with your shoulders down away from your ears. Shoulder blades pulling back behind you. Good. Lifting those elbows, lifting those thumbs. Towards the ceiling. Give it 10 seconds. Nice job, nice job. Three, two, one. Yep. Rest. Whew. The back is on. Feeling it, feeling it. Finding that back when it's hard with minimal weight. Take the leg balance. We're going RDL. Hinge at the hips. Which leg am I on here? Hinge at the hips. Control down. Hamstring stretch, glute stretch, stand. Using that foot to keep your balance. One major thing for balance is, is get it before you move. So if you're standing and you're not on balance, you start moving, you're never gonna catch it. Never gonna catch it. Okay, hinge, hinge, hinge. Stretch, stretch, stand, stand, good. And if you start with a solid balance, you'll be able to keep it for longer. 
Go the whole way through. Almost there. Good. Excellent work. You're doing good. Two, one. Yeah. Rest. Switch these up. Quick 10 to switch. Three, two, one. Foot planted. Exercise one. Quick hinge. Good. Yep, 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 yep. Nice, nice, nice. Engine down. That's halfway. Good. Good, 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 good. Yep, 10. Almost there. One more. Control, control, control. Three, two, one. Good. There you have it. One more for this core pump. Three, ready, two, ready, ready. One. Exercise one. Run it in. Get along. Halfway. Good, 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 good. One and a half, core strong. Keep that low back press into the ground. Don't let it, don't lose it. Good, almost there. Strong, slow, and steady. Three, Keep coming. Two, one. Yeah. Rest. Nice job. Nice job. There you have it. It's two rounds down. All right, 10 seconds, back to the push up. Three, two, ready, 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 one. push up. Here we go. Four strong, planked out, pushing, good. Halfway. Good. Solid, solid. Nice work. Over the half. Come on. Breathe, breathe. Focus on that push. Challenge. Keep full range of motion. Keep solid form. Head, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles. Straighten the line. Three, two, one. Good. Nice job. We're going A's now. We got the T's down, W's down, A's. Here we go. That means three. this is round three. One. Arms, palms this open up, facing out. Thumbs to the ceiling, lift the shoulders, arms. Open those hands up, reach down towards your feet. Relax. Lift, open, reach. Down, relax. Open those shoulders up, reach down towards the feet. Pause, pause, relax. Open, open, reach down, down, relax. Open, open, reach down, down. That's halfway. Good, almost there. 10 seconds. Then a couple more. Good, solid pauses. Open. Good, one more. In and in. Yeah. Good, we're up on the feet. Up on the feet. Three, two, one. Exercise one. Good. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Stand, stand, stand. Head, shoulders, hips. Stay straight in the line. Back stays flat. Hips stay flat. Don't let those hips open up. You do that. You cheat. You compensate. Good. 
Wood is planted, wood is working, barefoot if you can. I've got New Balance Minimus, which means they're minimal. There's nothing, very, they're, they're padded, but there's not much to them. Let's my foot do its job. I used to run in running shoes, higher heels, elevated heels for a long time. I still do occasionally, but I gradually, over time, worked my way down to yes. zero drop in my shoes. And it's just more natural. We're not meant to be in heels, lifted heel elevation the whole time. Shortens the calf, gives us some muscle imbalances. Often leads to, we're back on, often leads to just more chronic issues as you go forward. Good, good, good. Hip hinge, lengthen, lengthen, stand strong and tall. That's halfway. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Shoulders retracted. If you're holding the weight, don't let that arm get pulled towards the ground. Keep that shoulder pulled back behind you. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Hip. Three, two. Good. Nice. All right. Nice, nice. Down for the core pump. Finish up this round. Three, two, one. Exercise Don't one. Tight. Get up long. Don't tight. Good, 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 long, hold that core, keep it strong, crunch and tight, yes, yes, nice and done, almost there. Good job. Almost there. Finish, finish. Good. There. Three down. We got two more rounds left. And we'll get in a little finish. With the finish, we'll get the heart rate up. We'll get breathing. We'll get working. All will be good. All will be good. A little core and a cardio for the finisher. Ten seconds. Back to the push up. Ready, ready, here we go. Two, Round four one. is on. One. Straight, strong core, solid, 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 full range of motion. That's halfway. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good job. Over the half of these push ups. Keep that core strong. No sagging. Solid, solid, solid. We're almost there. Less than 10. Five seconds. Get one more slow push up. In. You got it. Good. All right. If I remember, we're going to split this in half. T's and W's. All right, geez, arms on straight. Lift them, open the shoulders up, pull the shoulder blades back behind you, squish the mosquito between your shoulder blades. Drop, lift, 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 drop, lift, 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 drop. Thumbs are up, palms are open. Lift, 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 good, good, good. Down, good, uh huh. Come on, there's our halfway. Let's go, W. Doubles low, hands head height, lift, lift, lift. Always keeping shoulders away from the ears. Pull the shoulder blades down behind you a little bit. Back and behind, back and low. Good, 10 seconds. Stick it, hold it, hold it. Drop, up, 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 up. Drop, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. That's good. All right, RDL. Whew. 
Here, here, here. Ready, ready, ready. Fix that leg, balance, stable, hinge. Shoulders retracted, back is flat, hips are level. Coming down, and we lengthen. Uh, excellent work. Excellent work. That's halfway. Yes, yes, yes. Good, hinging, hinging. Almost there. Almost there. Hammy, hammy, glute, glute, stand. Two. Last one. Rest. How we doing? We're doing good. Making it through. Always listening to your body. One. All right, we're up. Exercise one. We're balancing. We're hinging. Hinging. Good. Awesome, awesome. Good way, good work. That's halfway. Yes, yes, shoulder retracted, moving at the hips. Good. Yeah. Yes. Yes, and it's nice. We're down for the core pump. Three, two, one. Exercise one. Crunch and tight. Steady long. Crunch and tight. Steady long. Good. Come on, keep this up. Not a crazy fast pace. Just a steady pace. Getting as long as you can without that core lifting. Low back lifting off the ground. Almost there. Yep. Come on, less than ten. Good. Rest. Nice work. Nice work. Last 30 second break before we finish our last round. Woo! Excellent. Ready? Woo! That time went fast. Here we go, push-ups. Last set of the push-ups. Solid, strong. Get through everything you can. Good. That's halfway. Good job. We're almost there. We're almost there. Three, two, one. Good deal. Rest. All right. We're going to go W's and A's to finish this off. Finish off this prone. Prone back exercise. W's. Let's start them, lift them, shoulders away, ears, shoulder blades back behind you, drop and lift, hold, hold, drop and lift, hold, hold, drop and lift, come on, stick with it, be intentional, it's going to be easy to flow through this, finish strong, find that range of motion, pull into a little more, activate those muscles, there's your halfway, let's drop to the arms today, Open the shoulders up, lift the arms, reach down, back down, lift, reach, 
Easy to float through this and find nothing. But stay Challenge yourself. Yeah. Rest. Good. Nice. So lower body legs. Greater. Two, one, exercise one. Hip hinge. Good, hip hinge. Good, yep, awesome work. Yes, 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 good. That's halfway. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost one more slow. Yeah. Yeah, good deal. Exercise one. Good. Yes. Awesome work. Be rigid, robotic, hip hinge, back flat, dropping down, find that hammy, find that glute, That's back to the top. Awesome work. Doing good, strong and steady. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good, good, good. Four pumps to finish. Good, crunch it in, getting low, crunch it in. Oh, nice, nice, you got this. Keep that core dialed in, don't lose that low back. Get as long as you can, challenge it this round, dig in a little deeper, as long as you're keeping good form. Press that line, find that boundary, keep it coming. Yeah, come on. Three, two, one. Yeah. Good deal. Awesome work. Get through. Get through the meat of the workout. Um, well done. Okay, so we're gonna go with the typical 2010 to finish. I'll let you catch your breath, drink some water, and um and get going from there. So let's see, back 2010, 2010, 2010, eight rounds. It's a four minute finisher. Four minutes, we'll get a little cool down, stick around for the cool down. We'll talk a little bit about dieting rules and some other stuff. Diet rules, how, they, how that sounds to you. This doesn't sound good to me. Give you some things to ponder, think about, look over, and assess for how you approach nutrition and dieting and eating better. So, you don't want to miss the epic cool down. Just stick with us. All right, so your finisher, I just erased it. We're going uh, side bone shuffle and. Um, spider climber, spider climber. So side lunge shuffle is going to be, let's get rid of this. Side lunge, let's see. So side lunge on each side, we're gonna have one shuffle in between. So foot's planted, start with the side lunge. 
lunging over on a side lunge. I'm going to show you from the end point. So my hips break, my hips go back behind me. I keep this foot flat, send my weight back behind me. I'm going to have a little more, a pretty decent forward lean to the side. I want to keep hips, shoulders, head, shoulders, hips straight in the line. Okay, so I'm sitting back, trying to challenge range of motion, powering out of that. So that's what it looks from the side. Get back in the heel, send those hips back behind you, and you'll get so much out of this. So we got our side lunge, we're gonna power out, we got one shuffle, and then we're gonna decelerate into our other side. Get to the bottom, power out, shuffle over, decelerate, reload, power out, okay? Back and forth, 20 seconds, and then our spider climber. You're looking at me from the bottom, I'm in a plank position, okay? I'm gonna bring my knees high and wide, okay? Like a Spider-Man climbing, okay? So high and wide, trying to keep my hips stable. Here's what it looks like in action. Head, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, straight in the line, this high point position. Knees high and wide, more strong. It's not a crazy fast mountain climber. Climb, but strong and steady, digging into these obliques, core, shoulders, lats. It's gonna be all rocking. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be grand. You're gonna be better for it. How about it? Set, set, ready, ready. Let's throw this over here today. Side lunge, shuffle. Are you ready, ready? Lunge it over, shuffle, shuffle, lunge in. Sit back in that heel, send those hips back behind you, power out of it, up and over. Good, you got it. Load that heel, don't get off that heel. That heel tells you glute to work. The glute is important. Good. Spider climber. Press some 10. Set plank. Core strong. Ready, ready. And knees high and wide. Core strong. Boom. That's nice. Keep it coming. Come on. Hold that core. Keep it intact. Dial it in. Yes, yes. Come on. Yep. Yep. Yeah, feel that. Feel that. Back to your glutes. And the glutes are important. Your glutes are the king of your core. If the king isn't doing his job, if the king isn't right, working right, then nothing's working right. Things start to fall apart. And that means the rest of your core. The core is meant to stabilize. The glutes are strong. You stabilize your hips. If your hips are wonky, your low back is not going to be stable. Your hips are going to be wonky. You're more prone in that risk for an injury. So, glutes, glutes, glutes. Very underused and overlooked muscle. Back to your spiders. Go. No. Good. Knees high, knees wide, core strong. Yeah, yeah. Yep, good, good, good. Keep it coming. Almost there. Yeah. Halfway done. Four more rounds to go. The core is meant to stabilize. That's why you don't see me. Good. Lunge over, power out to the side. You don't see me doing a lot of crunches, that kind of stuff, because it's competitive flexion on your spine. First, we need to stabilize. That core, glutes, planks, control, solid control, core movements, because those are more functional. Those are more helpful than cranking on your spine and flexing your spine all day. So, spiders now on, that repetitive flexion will just kind of wear down that low back. And you'll be more prone to injury in the long run, even though you might have. Feel that burn in your calves. There's so much more to it. Come on. Yeah. But one more of each. You're here. You made it this far. Let's go. You got this. You got this. Yes. Here. Lunging over. Powering out. Shuffling in. Come on. Challenge the pace. Challenge the range of motion. I'm feeling it. My glutes are loaded. Locking on and burning. Good. Quads will always work. Make sure those glutes are rocking and helping out. Five seconds, come on. One more, yeah. Here we go. Last one, spider for 20. 
It's easy to look at your body, your body parts. I want a six pack. I want a big bicep. I want this body part, that body part. But your body is a system. Your body works together. It talks to each other. We're not parts. We're one whole. And if we neglect parts, we fall apart. We lose it. Oh, yeah, baby. Awesome work. That's a wrap. I'm gonna grab a drink. And then we'll talk through this cool down. We'll talk diet rules versus Versus, versus what? Skills, diet skills, and values, diet, guidelines, guidelines, values, and skills. Okay, let's bring this baby back out. Now let's see, we went through hamstrings, glutes, let's start with glutes. We'll start this cool down. Let's start with a couple deep breaths. Bend your back, one palm on your belly, one hand on your chest. It's your belly that should be rising and falling most. That's your diaphragm. That's your diaphragm. As you take those deep breaths, it activates, it triggers, connects with our vagal nerve, a couple more, vagal nerve activates the parasympathetic nervous system. Parasympathetic nervous system is rest and relaxation. Important here for coming off of our workout, also important for De-stressing after a long day of work, right before a big presentation, a meeting. Definitely helps us manage stress in a healthy way. Helps us stay in control, not get overworked. Okay, let's go glutes. Ankle over the knee, reach through the leg and outside. The down leg pull into the stretch. Okay, so tight rules versus Guidelines and skills. Okay, when I think of all the people that have come in to our my gym over the years, clients, coaching, training, even strangers, it's easy. People think we need to do X, some specific, follow some specific rules in order to get a specific result. Use weight, certain muscle growth, certain strength. Look a certain way, they need to follow certain rules. That's what culture tells us. That's what our mainstream fitness and health tell us. But hey, one, we're not one size fits all. We all have a unique story, 100% unique, individually made. And because of that, from preconception through to where we are now, we all have different experiences different challenges, different strengths, and weaknesses, opportunities. And we're all different. While some things are very general and will work across the board, no one set of rules will work for everybody. So with that, um, diet rules, I mean, it just triggers people in different ways. So, um, you know, it's kind of a one size fits all, all or nothing kind of approach. And that's not life. Life is not one size fits all. Life is not all or nothing. Life is a continuous growth and getting better, learning from our shortcomings, fall, our failures, and getting better from there. Um, so, uh, guidelines and skills. Skills are things like something that you learn, tip, a trick, tactic, stopping before you're full, um, eating slowly, uh, you know you're going to an event, and it's not healthy eating, then let's come up, hamstring stretch, then can you have a little snack to kind of pre, eat healthy before you go so you're not 
starving and famished before you get there. So some skills that will work. You don't have to have all of them. You can have some that work for most things. And then guidelines and values. Values are the things that, you know, how do you want to live your life the rest of your life? Are you going to, you know, cut out sweets and sugars, cold turkey, and never do that again? So why would you do that in practice and never when it actually counts? So you're practicing that, uh, but you, you don't plan to do that for the rest of your life. Okay, so switch legs. Um, so what are your values? How do you want to? How do you want to uh, balance, find balance through, you know, your long-term lifestyle as you go forward? Um, and then your guidelines are, are, you know, just eating whole foods, fruits, vegetables, whole foods, minimally processed stuff, healthy fats, not being afraid of fats. It's a huge, huge hang-up for people. It's that old myth of, um, yeah, that's a bad thing. That is totally, totally not the case. And I still believe in that. Talk to me and let's ask questions and dive into that. Um, let's go open book as we wrap up. Palms together, leg in front, open those arms up. Breathe. The guidelines are things that will probably work for most people. The scales will be value dependent. And your guidelines are, yeah, everybody should be eating more vegetables. Everybody should be eating healthy fats, drinking more water, getting good sleep. Now, what kind of skills can we use to implement those things in order to, in order to uh, meet our values within some regulations and some long-term results, sustainable results. Okay, let's go sides one more. So, <laughs> close and reach. Awesome work. If you were outside in the heat, bravo. So well done. If you're inside in the AC, well done. Way to crank it out. Wherever you were at, you got through. You did better, you made the best of it. Awesome work. Keep it up. One more. Let's finish one more quick little combo. Oh, cobra push up on your belly, hands on head height. Press, extend through the upper back, lifting through those ribs, anchor into motion if you get into your low back. Come back down. Back up. Good. Let's come up, toes together, heels out, knees out. Left back towards the heels. It's long through your arms. Let's get three big breaths here. Good, excellent work. Well done, Wednesday workout down, done in the rest, record books. Keep up the good work. I'll see you better back here, same time, same place. Wednesday, we'll record it as you feel fit to do it. Be better, we'll see you next time.